Hey guys, it's Smash Yourself here. Today we are checking out the craziest tourist attraction. Uh, uh, I choked. So guys, lately I've been thinking a lot about what traveling plans I want to plan out for the next five years. And I found some really awesome attractions around the world that you guys, if you didn't know exist, you guys need to know exist. Hey, this world ain't so bad. What you guys talking about? This is easy peasy. Oh no, it slipped. Oh no, my shoe. My shoe. I don't think I'm getting my shoe back. Hey, but I'm doing it blindfolded. <laughs> I can do it blindfolded. Oh, oh my step. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, oh help. Help. So there is this place in China, Chongqing, where uh, you can go very high altitude and walk across these platforms. Uh, very um, uh, high. So it's called 500 Foot High Bridge uh, in China. Okay. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm guessing you're 500 foot high and you're in China. But I'm pretty sure you have to fill out uh, insurance. So in case, you know, in case you do tie guys, you know, it's not their fault. All right. You kind of did sign your life away. They also have a swing uh, across the edge too, which you are attached to by a rope. Okay. Which is kind of fun too. Not as exhilarating though. Okay. But this girl seems to think so. Uh, uh, guys, okay. I'm gonna die! Ah! Okay, all right. All right, okay. Maybe it is actually very thrilling. <laughs> okay, okay, we get it. <laughs> Shut up. So also in China, there is this glass uh, walkway, but it has a cracking uh, effect on it. So if you step on it, <laughs> it will fake crack, <laughs> which is not going to help you, you know, walking across this thing. <laughs> I don't want to go. Come on, it's safe. <laughs> Man, I love Chinese people. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. He's like, no, don't take me. But his friend's just dragging him. <laughs> Man, I uh, wish I knew what he was saying. <laughs> it's like I don't need to know what he's saying. It's like I already felt like I already know what he's saying to his friend. <laughs> Man, are all these people just dragging their friends? Man, this is actually really torture. What if you're afraid of heights? Oh no, it's Granny's turn. Oh no, see, this is definitely going to give Granny a heart attack. Do not take Granny to this tourist attraction. Oh, this guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did no one tell him that it was gonna crack? Okay, he was so he was surprised. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at all these other people looking at them. They came to this attraction to make this video. I, I think I have to make this video. Come on, guys. All right, 100,000 likes in this video. I'll go to China and make this video. I don't think they'll let me into China, to be honest. <laughs> 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 Man, okay, I could watch this all day. All right, let's watch other other things. I think this place is called the Cheng Shasha Grand Canyon, where they have this world record glass bridge between these two uh, mountains, and it's crazy. Um, uh, people have been freaking out because this has been never been made before. A glass bridge? I'd walk across it, guys. It looks pretty safe. Okay, come on, keep it clean. Put things on your on your shoes. <laughs> it is still kind of crazy though, because your instinct says if you're gonna walk on glass, it's gonna break. So your your brain tells you that this shouldn't happen. But uh, am I not? Am I the only one who would who wouldn't jump? Maybe they tell you at the start. You know, don't jump. We're looking at you, Brandon. All right, fine, I won't jump. Come on. All right, if I can't handle a few jumps then it's not really a good test of strength, is it? Look, it already looks like it's shaking. Doesn't it look like it's shaking? Or is that just my brain already doing that? Maybe I won't go on the bridge. Okay, now we're checking out footage from the Macau Tower, guys. Now, this is the world's highest bungee jump in China, Macau. You are 760 meters high, guys. Look, that is the highest bungee jump, guys. I don't think I could do that. Okay, but I've done skydiving before. Okay, but bungee jumping, I've also done before. But it's just, it's different, guys. Okay, it's completely different. It, it, the fact that you don't have a parachute just freaks me out. You just have to drop, guys. You just have to drop and hope that something will catch you. Okay, here goes nothing, I guess. Bye. Oh, she's going. Oh, she's going. Oh, my God. She's dropped. She's still falling. She's still falling. She's still falling. Oh, and only now. Look how low she gets too. 
It really will give you the sensation of jumping off a building. Guys, have you ever thought about jumping off a building? Okay, let's be honest, you have. Okay, don't. First off, unless it's attached to a bungee cord like this. This I would definitely want to do, guys. I want to do this. Okay, 100,000 likes, I'll do it. <laughs> I only went bungee jumping once, guys, and that was in my Malaysia vlog. Okay, here's me bungee jumping, guys. That was this tiny, and it was already, I was already terrified. Because you know how they wrapped me up? They wrapped up a towel around my legs. And then they knotted another towel around it. And then I'm just sitting here sweating like, uh, yeah, guys, is, is, is this safe? Is anyone else watching this guy wrap these towels together? That's what my life was uh, holding on to. Towels attached to my legs, but it's fine. They knew what they were doing, I think. So now we are going over to Queenstown, New Zealand, guys. To the Nevis catapult okay guys not only are you gonna fly off this thing they're gonna catapult you off this thing <laughs> there's lots of videos of people doing this it does look kind of crazy oh 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 <laughs> do you see how she got yeeted <laughs> man and then you just fling it by and then hope you come back guys don't worry she'll come back how do they get her back again I don't want to know. So now we are checking out the X line in Dubai, guys. Uh, this is the world's longest uh, zip line. Uh, and you are attached from here. And you're going to be going across all of these buildings. So you're 170 meters high. Damn. And you're attached. You're just lying down as well. Okay, you are attached. You oh, go. <laughs> Well, how fast do you go? I think you go up to like 180 kilometers. Wow. Per hour. Damn. Wouldn't it be crazy? It would literally make you feel like Superman. If you ever wanted the Superman experience, you should go do this. Oh, she's doing it. Oh, come on. Drop her. Push her. I think if I were to do it, I would keep my hands out, guys. I would be like, wee, I'm Superman. <laughs> but your, your brain tells you to hold on. But man, you should hold out your arms. There's way too many zip lines, guys. I feel like I need to mention them all. But there's this one in Wales called the Velocity 2. And uh, apparently this one's the fastest one. Okay, so you got the, the longest one in Dubai. And now apparently this one's the fastest one. Oh, damn. <laughs> man, it's just all the same shit. I, man, I, I'm an adrenaline junkie, guys. I have to admit so i would so do this but it's just getting to these places that's that's the hard part but this does look fun though okay so this is the cn tower experience in toronto canada you get to go on top of the cn tower but what's very cool is that you get to stand outside you are attached by a cable and you get to walk outside Woo! oh my god yeah look at the view there's me i'm this indian guy that's with all these uh you know canadian girls but man this would be a cool experience though and you get to stand on the edge too man do not do this if you're afraid of heights yeah take a step back <laughs> i'm this indian guy in the back hello i'm filming hello <laughs> Oh, Yay! No, no. Yes, my Indian dude! He did it! Man, what a brave guy. He tried to convince his Indian friends. He was like, no, no. Raj, are you crazy? You want me to go to the bloody CN Tower? Are you bloody crazy, Raj? Go do it yourself, Raj, okay? You're bloody crazy making me do these things. So this is a, a building in Chicago that will actually tilt on its side. So you can stand on the platform. You can even hold onto the bars just so your face doesn't go... You know, straight first into the glass. What if it did, though? What if you were so heavy and then it just broke the glass? Oh, it's rotating. Oh, it's moving. <laughs> this guy doesn't even want to want to stand up straight. What was the point of coming? <laughs> He's like, nope, nope, not for me. I want to be straight. Oh, more, more. <laughs> he can't hold up. Oh, my God. Will it do it more? It's not that great. Oh, it is doing it more. Yes. Yes. More. More. I wanted to, to completely flip over so that I'm literally upside down. You know what I'm saying? Now that would be exhilarating. So this is the cage of death in Australia, guys. Uh, some Australian guys, they thought, you know, some people want, you know, to swim with uh, alligators or crocodiles. I don't even know the difference at this point. But uh, you just stay in this cage swim in the water but you're not actually in the water with them and you just watch them eat right in front of you how, how fun yeah wow look all the crocodiles wow uh brown's on a crocodile it's an alligator actually it's a crocodile 
Shut your mouth. Okay, so there is this place in Switzerland in the Swiss Alps called Thrill Walk, where you have to crawl through a fence that's just in the, the sky. <laughs> Man, a metal fence. That's, that's all you can walk through, guys. All right, make sure you can actually walk through it. Okay, do not go here if you are, you know... Extremely obese, you know what I'm saying? Oh no, what do you do now? You're both in the same side. No, what if all 10 of you got inside? Then it fell. Man, okay, maybe I don't want to go to this place either. Okay, I know I keep mentioning zip lines like you care, but this one actually is pretty cool because it's in Vegas. Yeah. Yeah, baby, you got this, baby. Yeah, baby, you got this, baby. Man, you're going inside the mall, guys, like the strip. How cool. People are down there shopping, and you've got people up there screaming, ziplining through. <laughs> Literally, you feel like Superman, you know, flying through a city right now. So cool. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I hate this guy. All right, if I'm just walking around, I'm like, just shut the hell up, guy over there. Okay, guys, you know what? I'm going to end the video there, but if you do want me to make a part two to this video, I definitely could because I've got way more attractions that I guess yeah, I've got no time to mention. Uh, but we did make a video checking out like roller coasters and water slides. I'm going to link those videos down in the description, guys, if you haven't watched them. Uh, I like checking out things around the world sometimes, mixing it up in terms of videos. You know, I like learning about these different things. Maybe I might try these things one day. Like I said... 100,000 likes, I'll go to China. <laughs> Either way, though, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in the next video. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.